Hi everyone, I hope you enjoyed the Teach Me to ACU. Uh, apologies for not being able to make it in person, but I'm presently at the airport picking up my brothers from the UK and New Zealand. Uh, they gave me three days notice. Anyway, sorry again Leanne, um, I know you've pointed out I have a 100% fail for attending Teach Me to ACU, but there have been some good excuses like babies and airports, but sorry again. So I thought I'd talk to you for two minutes about some of the funniest sides of EdTech. Even those of us who are youngish are total dinosaurs to students. Unless you're giving a history lesson, be careful not to talk about floppy disks, bubble jet printers, MySpace, before Google, before mobile devices. They have no idea about those things, and they don't really need to know. Uh, it's us who's got, who have to keep up to speed. Now things are going to go wrong uh, with wireless connectivity usually, but uh, particularly to uh, pre-service teachers, uh, in the audience, hang in there, ad lib. It's all part of a teacher's skill set, uh, just being able to change your lesson plan. Give it a few years, students won't just be bringing their own devices, they'll also be bringing their own connectivity. Some already do, and we ban it. And, that, and don't you just love the naysayers, those who demonize technology as an excuse for human behavior? There's some great images out there for anyone delivering professional development on social media and the like uh, to highlight this fact. This one is a cracker. In the UK, there's an online petition to remove the Minister for Education. This is the same guy who got himself and his advisors to use their private email accounts for official government business. But by neglecting to use their government's email addresses, they hope to exploit a loophole that would prevent their correspondence being vulnerable to the Freedom of Information request. As professionals, teachers have to use their work email. Perhaps the Minister of Education should do so too. And finally, can I recommend using Google Alerts for your own name? This is recommended to me by Greg Gebhardt, the senior cyber safety trainer at ACMA. It is no longer narcissistic, but keeps an eye on your digital footprint. It is also quite amusing to see the digital footprints of your namesakes and doppelgangers. Apparently, I'm also a movie director, a race car driver, a footballer, a hairdresser, and a criminal transvestite. A word of warning, grab any links with Evernote or screen capture them as when I was searching for the one I remembered about the criminal transvestite, I couldn't find it. Now I'm worried about the warning bells going off in ICT due to my search terms. Anyway, congratulations Leanne and Miriam. I wish I could be there with you all, and I hope to see you all around in person on Twitter. Cheers. Bye.